Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Um, welcome back to Carson Middle School. And for some of you, welcome to Carson Middle School. Um, this is um, a special evening for everyone, and I wanted to personally thank you for coming. My name is Catherine Kreve, and I'm the principal here at CMS. This is my 16th year here at CMS. Um, and as you can tell, for being here so long in this position, it's something that I love. Um, and I love it because of one reason, and that's because of your kids. They are amazingly talented in so many ways, and they make me laugh every single day in some capacity. And so that always makes it a nice place to come to work each day. Uh, it is really lovely to have music back in our schools. This is the first time in two years that our students have played before a live audience. So I can't tell you how special that is for all of us. And how much it means to me, it means to Ms. Geary, the director of our band department, as well as Mr. Wilton, Mr. Goodrich, and Mrs. Braggle, who are also the CMS um, music teachers. We have an extremely strong arts program here at Carson Middle School. And that is because, not only because of your children, it's because of you. Helping them remember, take your instrument today, bring it home, you need to practice, you know, um, having them sometimes take additional lessons. And also because of the dedication of your children who want to get involved in something outside of the academic classroom. And also um, the efforts, the dedication, and the leadership from all of the teachers who work with your children each and every day. Um, a few housekeeping things before we get into the introduction to the concert. Uh, with the, uh, to help you out, since our water fountains are not functioning, we have some cups located if you would need a drink. Um, if you go out the doors and to the left towards the cafeteria, there is a water fi bottle filling station there and we have cups there. Just so you know, it is known as the coldest water fountain in the building. So you guys got it, you got the good one. So if you would think that you need something to drink, please go out there. If you would need to use the ladies or gentlemen's room, you can go out the doors, you can exit to the right, you'll see a sign above, it'll say girls and boys for the restrooms. And sometimes if there are little ones here, they need to take a break, or maybe even you need to take a break, you're welcome to go sit out in our foyer area. That leads to, if you do need to leave for any reason, you use the restroom, grab a drink, take a break, we ask that you wait till the performance of that particular song is over before you get up and exit. When you come back, you can hear the music on the other side through the door. If you hear them playing, please wait until that song is over. Then you can open up the door and go back to your seat, just so as not to interrupt the performance of the students because they've been working really hard. When you think about it, the sixth graders, their last concert was when they were in fourth grade. Our seventh graders, this is their first concert at Carson Middle School. And even for some of our eighth graders, it may be their very first concert at Carson Middle School because, yeah, that would have been when they were in sixth grade. Um, so it is really exciting to have you in here. Um, I'm watching some of the quizzes, so I just want to see <clears throat> if anyone hears the quiz. What instrument did Ms. Krivak play in elementary and middle school? Trumpet, yeah. So I can't believe you didn't know that. <laughs> And I want to also introduce Dr. Bill McGahey. He is the new assistant principal here at Carson Middle School. We Welcome to Dr. McGahey. We snagged him from the high school. He was the assistant principal up at Nash. And I said, you need to come join middle level because you're going to fall in love with it, just like I did from the very first day. And I know that he is truly um, enjoying his time here, getting to know all the parents as well as the students. So um, tonight is a special night. And I hope that you find time to just unplug, rewind, or rewind, <laughs> unplug and wind down a little bit because sometimes if we don't force ourselves to do that, it doesn't happen. And um, you, you will really enjoy the concert tonight because they're so excited. And so I'm going to stop talking so that you can hear your kids. So let's give a big round of applause to welcome Miss Geary and our sixth grade band. Thank you. 
and other brass instruments frequently accompanied by percussion, usually for ceremonial purposes. Our first selection entitled Dimensions was a fanfare that featured the brass and woodwinds in contrasting sections. Through this piece, we learned how to incorporate the staccato articulation and the new forte piano crescendo dynamic, as well as having sections of a piece where multiple rhythms were performed simultaneously. Hi, my name is Ellen McLaughlin and I play the clarinet. Dance songs are the most common category of songs in the Native Alaskan Eskimo culture and are traditionally sung by both men and women with the men beating drums. These dance songs, which are generally based on pentatonic or five note scales, were performed to celebrate life's important events such as births, deaths, marriages, the changing of the seasons, or a successful hunt. You'll hear the drum like ostinato being performed by the percussion as well as the low winds, and you'll hear the pentatonic melody being passed around from the clarinets to the saxes and then to the trumpets. Se sections expanded their range with multiple new high notes, and we were also introduced to new fingerings through accidentals or flats and sharps scattered through the music and the accidental roll. This is Eskimo dance.
My name is Kelly the Bronze, and I play the flute. The next part is a beautiful moment of musical solitude, which lists to close their eyes and imagine a quiet moment under the stars, interrupted by the hustle and bustle of everyday life. The composer, Brian Bellmajor, challenged your ears with contemporary harmonies and chords you don't typically hear in music on the radio. You learn how little dissonance or tension between notes can convey a beautiful twist of traditional chord. Hope you enjoyed Midnight Sky. I'm Ethan Weaver and I play the tenor saxophone. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow was written in July of 1945 in Hollywood, California, during one of the hottest days in the record. This was an attempt to stay cool by thinking cool. In addition to reinforcing our new high notes, we learned more new accidentals and challenged by a whole new part of independence. You'll hear, you'll hear snippets of the melody pass around to instruments that typically play more supportive roles, and we really have to concentrate to come in at the appropriate moments. We hope you enjoy sixth grade, the sixth grade band's final piece, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow.
just going to do a couple instrument transitions, then we'll close the curtain and get the Jasmine up. Jasmine, you can just go ahead and start coming up. Thank you. Traditionally, jazz bands are comprised of saxophone, trombone, trumpet, piano, bass, and drums. As you can see, we have before you a non-traditional instrumentation. But all of these students have worked hard, auditioned, and earned a spot in the select group, which meets before school at 7 a.m. on Friday mornings. This group learns about American-born jazz genre. Since we went over a year without jazz, our first performance will be comprised of just a swing-style chart as we work to establish our jazz rhythms and articulations. Our first piece is entitled Swing with Jack and will feature our drum set player, Kean Belcher. The 12 bar blues form is the foundation of many jazz tropes. This simple, catchy melody laid the framework for us to explore jazz improvis improvisation using the 12 bar blues in the blues scale. We have all been improvising during rehearsals to build our skills, and tonight you will hear short improvised solos by Devin Sienko on alto saxophone, Abby Landert on flute, Peter Mascari on clarinet, Haley Seidel on clarinet. Emma Dietz on clarinet, and David Fabi on drums. Typically, applause is given after each individual solo, but we will be trading twos and fours, and we don't want you to miss someone's solo. So please hold your applause until all until after all solos are done. This is C Jam Blues.
Harry Leonard, and I play the flute. Duke Ellington was a band leader, composer, and pianist whose works filled the library of what we call jazz standards today. His piece, Sat and Doll, is one of those standards that we, and that enabled us to learn the swing style, traditional jazz articulations, traditional big band section roles, and a basic big band form, which often includes solos. During the opening, you will hear Isabella Lynn playing the role of Duke himself with a brief piano solo, and solos in the middle by Kyle Byrne on the ever so rare jazz oboe, Sarah on flute, and Cedric Audie on trumpet. Feel free to applaud immediately after each solo. Of Ellington's drummer, Sonny Greer, it was said that he needed only a skeleton of an idea. With that as a base, he contributed a great deal to the glory of the work. Sonny had a great ear and unusual reflexes. This could also be said of our drummer for this piece, playing the role of Sonny, is David Hobby. Here is Satin Doll. the stage to perform next. All right, thank you. Hi, my name is Peter Mascari and I play the clarinet. Cedarwood Holiday is an upbeat, syncopated work with a rich lyrical middle section. This piece offered us the opportunity to study tiered entrances, different articulations, the contrasting tempos of Allegro and Andante, 
and to practice more nuanced tempo changes throughout. This is 8th grade band performing Mark Williams' piece, Cedarwood Holiday.
achievements and noble qualities. With driving rhythms and an array of tonal colors, Heroes Triumphant is a musical manifestation of vivacity and high spirits intended to honor the heroes that have emerged in the last 22 months. In addition to honoring those who have shown courage through these tumultuous times, this piece challenged us to perform layered rhythmic ostinatos, contrasting articulation styles, and accepted melodic lines. This is Heroes Triumphant. Before announcing our next song, the entire 6th, 7th, and 8th grade band and Ms. Geary would like to take a moment to thank Ms. Krivak and Dr. McGahey for being so supportive of all of the performance assemblies here at Carson Middle School. We would also like to thank all of the Carson faculty and staff for their support and flexibility in order to accommodate special celebrations such as these concerts. It means a lot to us to be able to showcase our talents and hard work. Thank you for your support. And finally, we want to thank Mr. Goodrich and Mr. Wotan and the CMS stage crew for helping out with all the lighting and sound for this concert season. The next production is in the board style and is set in the key center of C minor. Multiple repeats as well as a DS alcoda provided a big challenge to our focus and concentration as we have to jump our eyes to different locations in the music four different times throughout this piece. Additionally, we learned how to count and play multiple 16th note patterns, and our percussionists were challenged by numerous 5 and 9 stroke rolls. This is Mark Zuma.
Hello, my name is Emma Dietz. We also want to thank all those teachers who helped us get to this point. From our general music teachers to our elementary school band directors, Mr. Krauss, Mr. Clicker, Ms. Long, and Mr. Leisure, we wanted to say thank you for laying the foundation upon which we've continued to build our musicianship. Please join me in acknowledging all their hard work and dedication. On behalf of Ms. Geary and the entire band program, we wanted to thank you, our parents, family, and friends. Thank you for supporting us through our musical experiences, but especially through the past two years. Our first unique sound when our instruments developed into our first smooch, which inevitably became the ever so hot cross buzz. Then suddenly our playing became an at home zoom like a bed, which miraculously evolved into the performance you are hearing tonight. Thank you for everything from new reads. Renting and purchasing instruments, supervising the at home classes and practice sessions, enduring our unique sounds during these sessions, and most importantly, for your unconditional love and support. Thank you through it all. Without your support of the band program, none of this would happen. Thank you. The winds of the foothill communities throughout Southern California are often unpredictable and sometimes quite fierce as are our own winds here in Pittsburgh during this winter season. They can come and go in an instant or blow relentlessly all day long. Bluster seeks to musically portray these wild winds in this colorful and energetic work. This piece challenged us to play in 3-4 time, observe tempo changes, perform with more exposed parts, navigate repeat signs and endings, as well as all of the various articulations. We hope you enjoy our final selection, Bluster. Have a safe and happy new year.
to come and thank Ms. Green for giving us such a nice, like, middle school dream for you. And I want to thank you for giving so unapologetically yourself. Thank you for teaching us lessons other than music. You taught me about our emotions and how to treat others because you never know what is going on in their home and in their life. Thank you for treating us like we are family. I will never be able to explain how much I appreciate your willingness to be there for each and every student. You've helped me through my worst days and always believed in me. You have always been the teacher I would go to with my worries and problems. You are a rational and loving voice in my life and I can't thank you enough. I'm astonished by how well you handled this life-changing pandemic. I know at times it felt like you were going crazy or letting your, you or your students down, but not once did you ever cease to amaze me. You always persevered through the hard times and found ways around the struggle. I just want you to know that we can see how much hard work, time, and effort you put into this program. It has been such a pleasure being your student, and I'm proud to say I had you as my middle school band teacher. You really do make an impact. Thank you, Ms. Keeney. Hi, everyone. My name is Rick. Recently, I found out that our band teacher, Ms. Geary, will be leaving. For my thanks to her, I would like to say a few words. Ms. Geary has been the best band teacher we could ever hope for. She brought us forward and, 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 and enhanced our musical knowledge and abilities to our greatest limits and potentials. She dealt with us when we didn't deserve to be dealt with and carried us forward through our musical journey. Without her, we would all be vastly different, some not even on this musical path to greatness. Thank you for everything, Ms. Geary. Good evening. My name is Peter Mascari. These past few years have been a struggle for all of us, for various reasons. Part of my clarinet broke early in the pandemic. I sent Ms. Geary an email, and out of the pure kindness of her heart, she reached out to a friend of hers that works at Bullpoints, and the guy got me a new clarinet. I started playing guitar, and she supported me, mentioning how that can relate to clarinet. She showed interest when I discussed martial arts. These are only a few reasons why is it a huge honor to have worked with her for both musical and emotional reasons. The time I've spent here at Carson has been truly special because of her. As Mr. Matt Studek said earlier, a hero is someone who has a positive cause on other people. Thank you for your time and thank you, Ms. Geary. to say thank you for all your hard work this semester and we wish you the best for your the best of luck for your sabbatical and hope you enjoy your time. Thank you Ms. Geary. As you can tell I was trying to not talk. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to the parents and all the students. Um, this decision to, to take some time to do some studies and stuff was difficult and this was a very emotional night so thank you for returning, we were able to play and, and just experience the love and the joy of music. I hope you were able to feel it this evening and how amazing of a job that all of the students do this evening. Great job, everyone. Happy New Year, everyone.